to everyone i am prakash shrotti today we discussing the very interesting topic at the principle of food preservation in this video discussion we discuss on the point uh, what are the different principles of the food preservations then enlisting the method of food preservation methods then classify the major preservation factors the principle of food preservation is very important with respect to the food preservation technology let's start discussion one by one points first concept mapping in principle of food preservation preservation of the food that means whatever the shelf life of that food is increase by using different techniques by applying the different principles in this food preservation principles there are the main three principle first one is the preservation of the food by prevention of microbial decomposition of that food second one is the prevention of self decomposition of that food and third one is the prevention of damage of that food these three principles are applied to extend the shelf life of whatever the foods in this principle of food preservation there are the number of the methods which are applied in order to extend the shelf life of that food the first principle of food preservation is that prevention or delay of microbial decomposition of that food in this principle there are number of methods in which first method by applying the heat or the radiation treatment to kill whatever the microorganisms present on that food second one is the reduce the growth of that microbial activity by reducing the temperature drying process anaerobic conditions then third one is the removing of microbial load on that food by filtration process and fourth one is the keeping out microorganisms by using the asepsis technique by using these four techniques we reduce the or prevention or delay of the microbial decomposition of the food and resulting extending the shelf life of that food second principle is that prevention or delay by self decomposition of food that means whatever the food their self decomposition is delay by using the treatment in this method first one is the by using simple heat treatment like the blanching treatment to inactivate the enzymes to reduce the enzymatic activity or by addition of the additives to extending the shelf life by reducing the oxidative changes in the food like prevention of the oxidation by means addition of the antioxidants whatever the chemical reactions which are occurred in this food these are the delay by using the specific treatment this is the second principle of food preservation third principle of the food preservation is that prevention of damage caused by insect animals and mechanical causes that is the mechanical stresses which are causes during the handling transportation storage in this method food specifically required to after post harvesting properly packaging properly storage in order to prevent the damage by insect rodents then second properly handling during the loading unloading during processing packaging distribution and storage use proper cushioning material during the transportation in order to reduce whatever the physical stresses which are damage on the food surface and resulting increasing the spoilage rate of that food these are the main basic principles which are involving in the preservation of the food what are the different methods of the food preservation in this table you can see the main methods which are used for the preservation of the food first one is the asepsis that means free from microbial load that is the keeping out of microorganism from the food 
second removing of microorganism from inside and outside surface maintenance of anaerobic condition during storage packaging distribution use of high temperature use of low temperature drying dehydration use of chemical preservatives radiation treatment mechanical destruction of microorganism combination of two or more above method that is the hudel technology and recent technique in which non thermal preservation methods that is the use of mechanical electromagnetic light or electrical energy to inactivate the microbial load these are the main methods which are enlisting in this table used for the preservation of the food one or more in this methods by the combination of one or more about the method is called as a hudel technology depending on the specific type of that raw material or the specific food product the specific method is used for the preparation of the product and finally preservation is achieved first method is asepsis technique it is very simple technique asepsis that is the keeping out microorganism as a preservation factors that means whatever the food for example these are the fruits and vegetable in which the outer layer which has act as a barrier to the microbial load if this outer lower layer is damaged then obviously whatever the environmental microbial load they are directly contact with this food material and they start to decompose this food if we this outer layer is properly clean and then protect from uh, microbial load that is the by using the packaging material then obviously its shelf life is increases in asepsis conditions after the harvesting of the product they are properly uh, processing and then packaging is carried out and extending the shelf life of that food second method that is the removing of microorganism in this method whatever the microbial load which are present on that food these are removed by using one or more technique in which first one is the filtration process for example use for the liquid food processing then washing process for the fruits and vegetable and uh, all raw materials which are cleaning is carried out then trimming process the specific part of that contaminated food which trimmed out to reduce the microbial load to extending the shelf life of that food third method is maintenance of anaerobic conditions during packaging of the food whatever the head space that head space containing atmospheric air is removed and insert with inert gas or the carbon dioxide to in this head space of that packed food resulting whatever the oxidative changes which are possible during the storage and distribution these are delay and resulting extending the shelf life of that food use of high temperature the basic principle is that by using high temperature killing of microbial load in the food in this process whatever the microbial load they are denature the protein of that microbial load or also whatever the internal enzymes are present these are they inactivated resulting the metabolic metabolic activities reduce or completely stop resulting this microbial load are killing is carried out in this high temperature technique involving three method first pasteurization second heating at about 90 to 100 degrees celsius and third one is the heating above 100 degrees celsius that is the sterilization process first pasteurization you can see this is the pasteurized milk two methods high temperature short time low temperature longer time these are the time temperature combination for only related to the milk this time temperature combination varies with related to the liquid food specific food product then heating at about 100 degrees celsius in which the 
whatever the foods they are directly merged into the boiling water for a two to three minutes to maximum five minutes specifically it's involving like the blanching treatment for fruits and vegetable you can see before frozen storage they are first blanching is carried out uh, it's also including some other methods like the baking roasting frying cooking process in which the temp temperature range 100 or slightly above 100 degrees celsius then last roof that is the heating above 100 degrees celsius the, that is the sterilization process by using the superated steam or the saturated steam uh, in this method involving high temperature short time low temperature longer time ultra high temperature processing in the sterilization or the retorting process liquid foods are sterile and packed into the uh, retort packaging system or also into the tetra pack system in a canning system also it is uh, in this process retorting is carried out in the canning process whatever the food they are preserved into the sealed container after the filling and uh, sealing the product must require to properly retort that is the sterilization process in which the extending the shelf life one to two years in the sterilization process in tetra pack system the shelf life of the food extended uh, up to five years specific depending on the type of that food and the packaging material and the system this one is the preservation of the food by using low temperature the basic principle when the food are stored under the low temperature resulting internal chemical reactions are reduces also whatever the presence of microbial and the enzymatic activity this growth of microbial load and the enzymatic activity are reduces the common method of the cold storage involving first that is the common or the cellar storage second one is the chilling or cold storage in cellar storage food are stored under the lower than 15 degrees celsius chill or cold storage the foods are stored under the refrigeration storage conditions that is the up to 5 to 7 degrees celsius then frozen frozen storage this frozen storage is used for the all types of the foods in which the processed respiratory non respiratory foods are stored under minus 18 degrees celsius for two, up to one to two years before storage the foods must require to pre-processing like the fruits and vegetables required to cleaning then blanching treatment then packaging and the frozen, frozen storage is carried out in the frozen storage conditions the proper uh, storage temperature must require to maintain in order to extending the shelf life in which the lower temperature of the storage the reducing the chemical and the enzymatic reactions and resulting in extending the shelf life of that frozen stored foods method drying and dehydration process in which the the foods internally containing moisture this moisture is reduced by the drying and dehydration process resulting the water activity of that food is reduced uh, and extending the shelf life of that food that means moisture content of that food is reduced by the drying and dehydration process resulting internal microbial and the enzymatic activity also kill and whatever the chemical re reactions these are the uh, reduced and extending the shelf life of that food different drying methods which are available depending on the specific type of that food they are apply in which the sun drying cabinet dryer tunnel dryer spray dryers uh, different uh, methods are available the main factors which are important in a drying process is that the temperature employed the relative humidity of the air velocity of the air and the time of the drying whatever the foods they are properly dried and then after that the packaging and the stored for the long time under refrigeration and the normal conditions next one is the use of chemical preservatives that means addition of chemical preservatives into the food during the preparation of that food these chemical preservatives directly act as an antimicrobial agents to kill the microbial load in the food and extending the shelf life number of 
chemical preservatives are available as per food safety standard authority of india food additives guidelines are given the specific amount of required to additions these are also detail given as per guidelines should require to add this specific chemicals to the specific food product these are the four main chemical preservatives which are used for the preparation of the foods sodium benzoate sorbate sulfur dioxide and the nitrates most commonly used for the preparation of the uh, in uh, fruits and vegetable then bakery dairy the processing of the food these are the examples next one is the use of chemical preservatives that means addition of chemical preservatives into the food during the preparation of that food these chemical preservatives directly act as antimicrobial agents to kill the microbial load in the food and extending the shelf life number of chemical preservatives are available as per food safety standard authority of india food additives guidelines are given the specific amount of required to additions these are also detail given as per guidelines should required to add this specific chemicals to the specific food product these are the four main chemical preservatives which are used for the preparation of the foods sodium benzoate sorbate sulfur dioxide and the nitrates most commonly used for the preparation of the uh, in uh, fruits and vegetable then bakery dairy the processing of the food these are the examples method is the preservation of the food by using the radiation treatment non thermal food processing treatment in this method the basic principle is that by applying the ionizing radiation on the food resulting whatever the microbial load present on that food this microbial load dna structure is damaged or change resulting this microbial organism growth reproduction is completely stop and resulting they are destroy in this radiation treatment depending on the specific raw material the specific application they are applied a specific dose level in which the high dose level including sterilization treatment medium dose level including pasteurization process and very low dose level uh, in which the inactivation of the enzymes inactivation of this uh, reducing the sprouting and the delay of the ripening process a specific uh, principle that should be required to apply on the specific food product for a specific purpose these are the three pin methods which are used in the radiation treatment means the mechanical destruction of microorganism that means by using high pressure processing technology in this technique using high isostatic pressure that means pressure is applied the same in all direction on that food in the range of 400 to 600 megapascal resulting high pressure processing whatever the microbial loads are present on that food this microbial load internal containing chemical compounds these chemical compounds are affected on their structure and resulting the microbial load metabolic activity it is the metabolic activity of that microbial load is stopped and resulting this microorganisms are no growth and the reproduction is stopped and extending the shelf life of that food this technique is mostly used for the liquid food processing recent technique which is used for the preservation of the foods like the fruit juices next one is the combination of two or more method of the preservation that is the hurdal technology that means uh, number of the preservation techniques are available the combination of two or met- more methods which are apply for a specific single product that means reducing the ph then reducing the water activity reducing the temperature resulting the whatever the shelf life of that food they are extending to a specific whatever the required target level in this hurget hurdle technology we applying the two or more principles they specifically depending on the specific type of that next one is the 
classification of the major preservation factors what are the preservation factors the main first class that is the preservation of the food by inactivation or killing of microorganisms it's involving two factors that is the application of heat by application of radiation treatment heat treatment by pasteurization and the sterilization process is achieved and the radiation process specific depending on the dose level they are classified into three groups in which first group that is the radiation that is the uh, delay of the ripe, ripening process sprouting process that is the very low dose level then second one is the radiation that is the pasteurization process inactivate the microbial and the uh, enzymatic activity and uh, radiation that is the sterilization process by using the high dose level these are the preservation factors for the inactivation or killing of microbial loads second major preservation factors in which the second principle is inhibition or slow growth of microbial activity the preservation factors in which the first by cooling that is the chilling and frozen frozen refrigeration process second reducing the water activity by drying addition of the salt sugars by addition of the glycerols and other some of the solutes then restriction to the oxygen that is the vacuum packaging nitrogen packaging then increasing the carbon dioxide whatever the air space that add with the carbon dioxide gas then use of alcohol for that is the alcoholic fermentation process then addition of the preservatives addition of the chemical preservatives which inhibit or the slowing the microbial growth activities these are the preservation factors and the these are the method of food preservation third major preservation factor group in this principle is that restriction of access of microorganism to product this can be achieved by the microstructure control that is the emulsion process then decontamination reduce the contamination uh, whatever the raw material they are properly processed the properly packaging materials properly processing technique is used then aseptic or clean handling process super clean processing aseptic processing that is the aseptic packaging or good hygienic practices which are used for the preservation of the foods references used for the preparation of this powerpoint presentation in this video discussion we discuss on the point of basic principle of food preservation then methods of preservation techniques and the major factors in the preservation of the food thank you very much if you like my video then subscribe to my channel thank you very much